What is going on everybody? Chlorin King here. Thanks for tuning in for another video. This pool behind me is a client's pool and it randomly grew algae overnight. So it was just serviced the other day and the numbers during the service report were great. I came here today and the numbers were also good. We had a chlorine of five, a 7.4 pH, uh, 110 alkalinity, uh, salts was around 3,400 parts per million for a Hayward turbo cell. So all those numbers are in check. So why do we still have algae? In these cases, the first thing we always do is test for phosphates. And when we did the phosphate test, we found that the pool had 800 parts per billion of phosphates, which is about four times the recommended range for phosphates. So it's allowing the chlorine to be not effective in algae grow because of it. Phosphates is algae food, as I've explained in numerous videos. But we took it a step further and we tested the fill water and we found that the fill water is coming out at a thousand parts per billion out of the tap. So what does that mean? Well, in this case, the water level here right now is higher than when it was being serviced, so it was recently filled. So phosphates are being added every time the pool's being filled. And now that we're entering into swim season with you know a lot of splash out and the sun being super hot and, and evaporating the pool, there's gonna be a lot more fill water going in. The problem is with the phosphate content that high, it's going to cause issues for us to maintain the pool properly without putting the client on a phosphate regimen. So this is something that's completely out of our control. And what I would take from this as you guys watching this is to, if you come across a pool that's constantly having phosphates, test the fill water because chances are the fill water is going to be pretty high in phosphates. The county and cities put that in the plumbing to protect the copper plumbing underground. So that's how phosphates arrive at the tap. So that's how it ends up in the pool ultimately. So I'm gonna scroll in, uh, roll in a couple of pictures of our test results. We also did a copper test with the heater. It's also high in copper. So that's a whole other issue, but nonetheless, if you're coming across a pool of phosphates, test the fill water just to make sure it's something that is able to be addressed with the client because that kind of situation is 100% out of your control and should not be held against you for service in the pool if there's algae present. So. Um, create some positive steps and actions to uh, remedy the problem for the client. Usually that's putting them on a phosphate regimen and uh, get that situation resolved, but educate the client on why that needs to be done with a test proving that that is the case. So hopefully you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next video. Have a great day, everyone.